in this video we are going to look at how do we generate a list of transactions and also uh, transaction uh, function module by function module okay. so we're going to use transaction sqvi so we are in transaction sqvi which is a query transaction so i already created a um, execution ex uh, report so i'm going to change this okay so I'm going to go to data sources. So what we have to do in this uh, report is we have to join multiple tables. The first table is DF14VD, generate table view. And then TDEVC, packages. Infotran, uh, which has the transactions and the information packages. And then transaction descriptions. So if you see, when you add this, when you can add this uh, 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 tables, with this icon here so add these four tables in here so it will automatically link the tables based on the linkage so once you add this you will have all these tables you can you can now you can select the data from these tables okay let's go back now what i am going to do is uh, i want the data to be listed uh, their table to be listed with this uh, with these fields okay so if I want to look at the technical details of this field, so I just click on the button here. So I want TSTCT, which is a transaction description, transaction from that, description of text from the this from this table, TSTCT, and then development unit and development text, right? So basically these are basically software component, right? And then uh, field, okay? And then I also want to put a language key. And then next two fields are basically short text and component ID. Okay. So these are the fields which will be listed in that report. So what will be our selection fields? So selection field is transaction code, language key, component ID, language key again, component uh, application component ID, and short text. Okay. So now I'm going to execute this report. Let's say I want to look at all the transactions which start with the MM. I execute that. So now it basically gives me <coughs> so MM01 and Metal Master, and then it's going also giving me the sub component here. Okay. Uh, I can probably also look at uh, the components. Uh, what what is the description of this? But uh, right now I'm not doing that. Okay. I'll go back. Let's say I want to look at. Uh, Transaction with SU star. Hmm. So it's a basis, uh, basis user authorization management, right? So it basically look, pulls up the data and then tells me exactly what module it belongs to. Okay. Let me go one more. Let's say FF star. So here uh, basically finance. basic functions okay so let me go on more v star sales activities right so i think this is a good report where you can see all the transactions by function module thanks for watching the video thank you if you click on the link below to download a step-by-step -step guide i'm also going to put all the description on the table info in the description thank you